Hey guys, my name is Sebastian, and today I'm going to give you some interesting facts and a slight biography on Niels Bohr. So I'm just going to tell you the interesting stuff, or at least the things that I found to be interesting. He was born in 1885 in Copenhagen, Denmark, and he was born very rich. His father was a professor of physiology, and his mother's family, patriarchal times, had ties with the Danish banks. And so we all knew him to grow up to be a big-time physicist, but his brother actually became a mathematician, and he eventually ends up playing in the national soccer team for the Danish in the Olympics. So. Bohr went to the University of Copenhagen, and so since his father was a science professor, that interest in science also resonated within him. And although he majored in physics at the university, he also had a really strong interest in philosophy. And so his first publication was when he was 20 years old. That's my age. And it had to do with measuring liquid surface tension, and it was uh, done through like a contest. And so he had to use his father's lab, the lab that his father uses like during when he teaches, because the ones at the University of Copenhagen, like Bohr was not allowed to use. So uh, he had to make his own test tubes out of glass, which is nuts in my opinion. And so he gets married at the age of 27 to Margaret, who at the time was a sister of a mathematician. And so together they had six sons. Two of them unfortunately passed away, one from illness and the other one from a boating accident. But the rest became superstars. One of them became a lawyer who eventually also played in the Olympics on the Danish field hockey team. Uh, another one became a doctor. Another one became a chemical engineer. And lastly, one also became a Nobel Prize winning physicist. And so we all know Bohr for his model, but how he got into the subject of atomic structure mostly came through his master's uh, research for his thesis, which eventually carried over into his doctors. <clears throat> and so after that, uh, he became a researcher and taught medical students at the University of Copenhagen, where at the age of 31, he becomes the theoretical physicist department chair and he opens up his own college, the Niels Bohr Institute, at the age of 36, which eventually served as the Quantum Mechanics Center for decades. He got, in 1922, he receives his Nobel Prize for his uh, efforts towards atomic structure. So during World War II, when the Nazi regime arose, he offered the Bohr Institute uh, for to be to act as a haven for refugees of Nazi political opponents or Jewish or otherwise, and so. But when the Germans occupied Denmark, he had to dissolve his gold Nobel Prize because he didn't want the Nazis to have it, and so he put it in a jar to which he would return to after the war to reassemble it. And so he almost gets arrested for being Jewish because his mother was Jewish, and that counts. So him and his wife fled to Sweden, and they set up a sanctuary, or they, they basically forced the Swedish government to set up a sanctuary for his other Jewish refugees. And he saved around like 4,000 Jewish refugees from uh, the Nazis. And so he, he also worked on the British side of the Manhattan Project after he set up the refugee camp. So after the war, he, he helps establish CERN, which is the European Organization for Nuclear Research, which he wanted the center to be at the Bohr Institute. But after several debates, it ended up being in Geneva in Switzerland. And so he was a strong supporter for international cooperation on nuclear energy. And so the new king of Denmark, Frederick IX, gives Bohr the Order of the Elephant Award, which is an honorable award 
bestowed upon Danish royalty. And he, over time, eventually he becomes, he starts setting up universities all over Europe and becomes a chairman of the Nordic Institute of Theoretical Physics in 1957. And at the age of 77, he passes away from heart failure. And after his death, the University of Copenhagen changed their name to the Niels Bohr Institute. Thank you.